number nine, Deputy Terence Flanagan. Yeah, uh, th thank you, Concorla. It's just uh, to ask the Minister for an update, uh, Minister McHugh, in, in, in relation to uh, the Irish language and the derogation. Um, um, and just if he has, I've raised this before previously in the past, and uh, I know he's looking for, uh, there is preparatory work actually taking place in relation to in ensuring that Irish, um, that the government make a decision in relation to this, basically with clock ticking. Um, so just to ask the Minister for an update on it. Thank you. Okay, Gramaga Kankorla, I'd like to thank the Deputy for raising this question again, and uh, I'd like to acknowledge the Deputy's consistent approach in this. You share my um, um, approach as well, that you see opportunities uh, in this, and I'd just like, like to acknowledge uh, the Deputy for, for raising this again. The Irish language was given full official and working language status in the EU from 2007. However, because of recruitment and resource concerns, temporary derogations were put in place to cover the periods 2007 to 2011 and 2012 to 2016. A unanimous decision by the Council of the EU is required on whether to end, amend or extend the derogation from 2017. The Government places major importance on Irish becoming a full working language of the EU institutions and is committed to ending the derogation. The Government, however, is also conscious of concerns about the recruitment of sufficient numbers of Irish language translators, lawyer linguists uh, and translation assistants and the associated uh, resource implications during a period of adjustment by the EU institutions. It is in this context that the Government is seeking agreement at the Council of the European Union for a Council regulation extending the derogation for another five years, with a view to the derogation ending on 31 December 2021. An incremental approach to the provision of additional services is also being proposed as to narrow the scope of the derogation in the interim period. In tandem with this approach, the Government has also taken significant steps to create the circumstances in which a sufficient number of qualified graduates are in place to meet EU requirement needs. Following a review of the Advanced Irish Language Skills Initiative, which is funded by my department. New arrangements for relevant third-level courses are currently being implemented by my department in conjunction with the Department of Education and Skills and the Higher Education Authority. These new arrangements, which include an increased focus on competence in three official languages, are currently being implemented in the third-level institutions from the start of the 2015-16 academic year. These arrange arrangements are, are aimed at improving the success rate in EU recruitment competitions and at better equipping graduates for employment in the EU institutions. Thank you. Uh, just to thank obviously, the Minister for his response and to acknowledge his uh, commitment in this particular area, and I know you, you, you did make it a priority, Minister, to, uh, to deal with this issue, but I think it is very disappointing to hear that the derogation is being extended, that we haven't got um, the, the requisite amount of translators uh, in place in order to ensure that Irish becomes more than just a name in official language, but it actually operating as an official language. Like as you know, jobs and job creation has been a central tenet, tenet of, this, of, your, of your government, um, of, your, of your record in government, and that's what you're making it to be. So it's disappointing, really, that. Um, when you knew this was coming down the track, that now more emphasis was put in. I know you're not long in the department, but with previous ministers there, that they didn't, um, you know, see it as being a priority to, to ensure that we had the requisite and um, uh, people with the specialist knowledge uh, in order to take up these jobs, because um, it's important, I think, for the future of the language that we we, we all be using it on, on a more regular basis, Minister. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, uh, D Deputy, again, yeah, just to um, uh, acknowledge uh, your own uh, enthusiasm uh, and dedication to this particular subject area. Um, at the moment, there are 50 posts in Europe. Uh, the potential here, there's a figure probably around 185. And my message today to even Leaving Cert students or even our secondary school students today up in the, the gallery is that if you have three languages and two of the languages are um, our, our first language of Irish and our uh, Berla and a third language, French, German uh, or Italian, there is good, there's going to be opportunities at the end of 2021. But before that, there is going to be an, an increased uh, approach. There's going to be um, uh, a, a, an approach where we can be looking at extra posts before 2021, uh, an incremental approach. So my message today, along with yours, is there, there are opportunities, the derogation. We don't have responsibility or control over uh, the decision. It's an EU Council decision. We make the recommendation, and we've made a very strong recommendation that we're
we're putting our money where our mouth is. We're putting additional resources into the likes of King's Inn, LYT, Letterkenny and Galway University for courses. So my message today to the students up in the gallery or other students throughout the length and breadth of this country is if you have three languages, which include Irish and English, or a third language, there's going to be opportunities when you come out of your secondary school sector, go into university, and you could be living in Strasbourg or Brussels, uh, and you'd have a nice lifestyle as well, and you could come over and back. Uh, Thank you. It's not too far away. Thank you. Uh, thanks very much, uh, to, to welcome your enthusiasm and your encouragement for the students, uh, particularly in the gallery. And yeah, thanks. Uh, just for t thank you for your response and your your, your interest uh, in ensuring that this will happen on an incre incremental uh, basis as well, and provide new opportunities for encouraging uh, further development of the Irish language. Thank you. Question.